Good morning ladies, welcome to my video today. This is kind of hard to show because the camera's coming down on these and you really need to look at them. But these are, aren't these cute? These are little pumpkins that I've made. Can you see them? They're, um, these were made out of the large cir um, scallop circle and Sizzix die cut. And then these, these are smaller. Can you see these? How cute! Love them! These make great little um, dec um, holiday decorations for your table for Thanksgiving. So these are made out of the 2 and 3 8 inch scallop punch. That is this one. And then the little tiny baby one, he was made from the regular scallop circle punch like this. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to make the big one. I will show you. There's one step I'm not going to do on the video. Can you tell that this is um, embossed? Let's see. Yeah, you can see the embossing. This, I just embossed each of the things. On this one, it's just plain. There's no embossing. So I'm just going to show you how to make it, and if you want to emboss it, you can emboss it and make it look a little more textured. Okay, what we're going to do, <clears throat> you're going to start out with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and you need two of these and you're going to quarter this so you would get four of these so you need two sheets of the eight and a half by 11 and if you quarter all of that you get a total of eight pieces and you can cut four of these at a time let me show you what we're going to do i'm going to get my die cut and this one is the scallop circle and remember what i told you before i mark all over these things so I have drawn a line on here because I want my pumpkin to have a flat bottom so that it will sit. Two reasons why I do this. Number one, so it will sit. And number two, if I cut that little piece off there um, and don't make a complete circle, I can get four out of a sheet of paper and not waste um, and have to use my 12 by 12. So we're gonna put our big shot over here this is going to go in between the two acrylics and i'm going to do this twice oh let's get it going through here there we go so i'm cutting four pieces out at a time here's this all four will cut out then i'm going to do it one more time and again lay that on that line just so you're cutting just a little bit of that scallop edge off. We're gonna go through one more time. And just to reiterate, if you want these pieces textured, you would just put this in the embossing envelope, run it through here again, and it would emboss each of your pieces. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do, we have another die cut, and it is, let's see, this is the leaves number two. So we're just gonna use the one leaf. So I just got two small pieces and put right over that leaf. We're gonna cut those out. All right, so we've got our two leaves and our eight pieces for our pumpkin. And now we can get started. Okay, we're gonna do this. You're going to fold these in half and these have the right amount of scallops so that you can fold each of them in half and they all line up perfectly all right so i'm going to do that very quickly right here <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do, we're going to glue these together. Very simple, easy, easy thing to glue. You want your, um, you want each of the circles like this, and you want this. This is going to be the outside of the pumpkin, okay? So you're gonna lay this down, and on this, I would suggest using the green glue, just because it really holds things together. So you're gonna take that, make sure all of your, the straight edges are down at the bottom. And we're just gonna layer that on and make sure they all line up and see what you've glued together. 
is there are those inside pieces, okay? So we're gonna do it again. Make sure your flat bot piece is at the bottom. Lay that on there. Line up your scallops. Put glue on again. Line your scallops up. Glue. Again, just make sure your, your V is sitting up like this. Line up your scallops. Glue. Line up your scallops. Bet you can't guess what comes next. Glue. Line up your scallop. Can you see this is a really easy, oh, that one didn't line up too well. Very easy thing to do. Last one. This. Line up your scallop. So then when you look, all of your scallops are lined up together and it just makes almost like a fan. Can you see that? If you needed a flat pumpkin, you could do this. Otherwise, we're going to end up, this is, this is how it was, and we're gonna glue that last one together and that gives us our pumpkin. So the very last one, put glue right here, bring it all the way around and close it together. One little quick thing, if you didn't want to glue these, you could add a, um, a paper clip to each of these ends, and that way next year you could fold these down like this and store them and keep using them. So if you don't want to glue them, if you want to save them to do to use next year, oh, let's glue these back. Then just use a safety. Uh, I keep saying safety pin. Use a paper clip on each end. They would fold flat, and you can use them again. So there's our pumpkin. Now to make our stem. We're gonna take some of the waffle paper that's in the mini catalog right now. I'm just gonna cut off a piece of it. Okay, you're gonna take a pencil and we're going to wrap that around our pencil. I'm gonna use tape on this. Add a little bit of tape. There's our stem. And this should have plenty of room to stick that down in there. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue just down in there. And we're gonna stick him right there. So there's our stem, cute. And then the last thing we're going to do is add our leaves. And again, if you wanna add glue, you can add glue. But most of the time, you can find just a little spot in here to stick your your leaves. Do that one and then we're gonna do this one. We're gonna put it down the other way. So I've got one coming up and one going down. That's our basic thing. The last little thing I like to do is add just a little piece of um, little curly cues. I'm gonna take and cut just two little strips of brown. Again, I'm gonna take my pencil and we're gonna wrap these around. I real I found this out last year when I grew some watermelons because it has the same kind of vine. They grow the same way. To know when a pumpkin or a, or a um, watermelon is ripe, the little the curly Q thing closest to the pumpkin when it turns brown, it means it's no longer getting any nutrients from the ground, so it is ripe or as ripe as it's gonna get, I should say. So, we're gonna add our little curly cues. Isn't that adorable? I love them, they're one of my favorite little things to make. So this is our pumpkin. Another thing you can do with these, put someone's name right here. It could be the place card for the table setting, and you could remove these for next year and redo them. So, enjoy making the little pumpkins. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks for stopping by, toodles.